production. Uh, she's gonna show us some speed sculpting with ZBrush. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I will make a quick portrait in ZBrush from this default sphere. I will just start immediately because we don't have a lot of time. So we are starting from the big shapes and going to the smallest ones. And then, like for here example, I'm doing the neck, just dragging it and using Dynamis so that I don't have to worry about polygons, for example. So I'm making um, not as realistic because we only have like 30 minutes, but something like that. Maybe an orc or troll or some, uh, some fantasy creature. Let's see. So I'm making the shoulders so the head isn't just a flying head in the space because that looks weird. I'm using symmetry because it makes it a lot faster to do the head only on one side and then automatically getting the other side as well. So here I'm just masking the nose and dragging it on its place, smoothing it out. Well, we can drag it a bit further. We need a bit more resolution, so we are just adding it from here. The zebra's user interface isn't quite fun, but let's just go with it. Now, same thing for the ear. Inverting the mask and then just dragging it to the place. And if you have any questions, like I'm happy to answer any time, because this is well, quite self-explanatory what I'm doing, so just ask. Like the Dynamis is the best thing in Shebras, I'm using it all the time. It looks quite weird now, I'm not used to doing and talking at the same time, but we have 30 minutes, so that's, that should be enough. Okay, so the eyes. Eyes are the most hardest part, I would say. So if I'm doing something weird, it's for the, just because the eyes are the first thing anyone is looking at when they are looking at character. Whoa, we could maybe add a bit more to the neck, like that. And just make the eyes, so we're making a sphere. And using transparency to mask, oh, not mask, I mean moving and scaling it to the right place. The mask, I mean scaling tools aren't quite easy in zebras. Like that, I think it's quite good. Looks fine, transparency away. Mm, maybe a bit more, yeah. And then we're just mirroring and welding it to the other side. And we could add uh, just a simple material for it. Maybe this one. This is a custom button in here. I just made it for this uh, competition. So now it has eyes. Let's define them a little better. The eyelids are quite hard. Let's see what happens. It often comes like a bit sad or angry looking, but we can make the like expression later on, maybe somewhere when I have just 20 minutes or something. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, so eyelids. Maybe dyno meshing again. I'm using shortcuts as much as I can just to be a bit faster. The nose. Let's mask the nostrils. And then again, just dragging them wherever I want them to be. That's good. Smoothing out. 
it looks quite cute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so let's use a different brush, Damian Standard, just like getting the mouth shape, maybe like that. <laughs> there. Yeah, that's a good start. After I've like made the initial shapes, I might do a bit of hair and then a bit of dew accessories for this guy, depending on how fast I am. So let's see. Oh, it's super sad. With clay build up, it's a different tool. I can make like these simple gestures that it would have some sort of muscle structure underneath. Like if I'm just smoothing everything out, it looks like it has this cool, not too blend, blended skin. Well, it's a like style cho choice, whatever you want to make. But you get really cool looking like skin with this tool. I'm just like throwing this in because we have 23 minutes. I hope you're seeing it. Okay, yeah, it looks good. So I bet there's people who, uh, who have used zebras more than I have. So if you have like something you want to say, please find me afterwards or something. Because I'm like, I want to learn. Mm. Yeah, we could do like the color bones. Are they color bones? I guess. Simple muscle structure, smoothing out pretty simple stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, that's cool. Ears, we are not gonna see a lot of ears, so I'm not gonna use a lot of time on that. I think there's some sort of default, default ear in zebras, but I didn't find it necessary. Let's make like an elf, elf ear. It's a bit intimidating to do this in 30 minutes. I would never do this like this fast, but that's the competition. Smoothing out. Yeah, we could do the hair just to get an idea of what the actual final look will be. So I'm just masking where I want the hair, hair to become or grow. Yeah, this works. Of course, being careful not to mask anything from the ear. Yeah. We are gonna do like a really puffy, puffy hair with fiber mesh. It's a cool tool. I just learned it for this competition, so cool to learn new stuff. Okay, let's make a like a bit black hair. Okay, yeah, getting somewhere. Whoa. A bit darker maybe. I'm not sure how the. Yeah, that looks a bit darker than it looks down here. We will just accept this. No, we don't want that. So it's now on a different subtool and we can move it as however we want. I want to fill the whole screen with this hair because it's cool. Let's go a bit, maybe closer. Yeah. We can kind of hide that it doesn't have a body. <laughs> so now I'm not using symmetry because I don't find it necessary. 
maybe smoothing it. Oh, not that one. We can smooth it out a bit from here so it doesn't go too much on top of its eyes. I really have to make something for the eyes because they are so sad right now. Hmm. Okay. Let's take this to... Oh, okay. Let's just take this out for a while. And for the eyebrows, just like really quick ones. Again, fine burmes. But let's take this one instead. Too much? Okay. So maybe like something like this. Again, another sub tool. This one? Yes. Now symmetry for the eyebrows. Let's make him like a bit angry. Yeah. That's fine. 19 minutes, I'm fast. Oh. Okay. Yeah, those are cool. Whoa. Fill effect. Fill effect. Yeah. So, now that we have hair and eyebrows, I think I will define the face a bit more because it's not in the ideal form that I would like it to be. I would use ages for this space, like just defining the small stuff in face, like especially the eyes. I mean, it's about the little things that matter. So now that I'm rushing it, it's a bit funny looking. Yeah, it's getting better every second. The best thing in zebra is that you can do like really crazy stuff, like about everyone. <coughs> Eyelids maybe a bit more sharp. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder why it's not showing anything. Oh, I'm in the wrong tool. Oh, of course. Well. So I'm pretty new in ZBrush, so don't take this as a tutorial or anything, but I just like how it works. So you can be quite creative with it quite easily. And for concepting, for example, it's the best tool, besides Photoshop, of course. Mm, yeah, the mouth needs a lot of work. Maybe if we kind of get more puffiness. Yeah, it's kind of funny. So, this is what we have so far. Let's do like shading for it. Whoa, what the, not material RGB. I'm just gonna use, no. Oh. It's in different mode. Ah, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. This is a new laptop, so I don't have any, any clue right now. 
Okay. Yeah, it's just more like sea brush stuff because I don't know what happened to the whole thing. But somewhere, I don't know. Huh? Probably you have to bring it. There has to be a thing that brings it back to the main view. Yeah. It's like the camera screen. Camera, yeah. Because it's still in the. Notice it's showing the. Yeah, can I just frame it? No. There should be like a center. What about that zoom tool right there? This floor. Well, this is weird. This never happened. I did this guy like a lot of times. Hmm. Um, I think you need the uh, head object. What? Can you repeat? The eye icon to the right. To, like, yeah, right there. Yeah, it's not it. This is a shame. No, it should be here. I can see the transforming tools, but I can't see the actual mesh for some reason. Can I maybe render it? No, I guess not. Well, that would be weird. Okay. Maybe if I go to another. Uh, Damn it. A new one. <laughs> yeah. Can you save actually and open it again? Like save the file, close the program and open it again? Well, let's try. Because sometimes that desktop. Switch it on and off. I can make a new one in ten ten minutes, I guess. Let's try. Load tool. Software. No. Like I would actually close the software. Well, okay. And then do it. Yeah. <laughs> this cost me two thousand. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. Continue to trial. I can show you the like finalized version after this, so I'm still fine. Yeah, that's really weird. It's right, you can see it. Yeah, we can right see it here, here but... The light is going. Huh? Yeah, the light, the light that's uh, illuminated on it. Uh, I don't know what... So you tried to create a new light source? But there is one. Hmm. I will just make a new one. I guess. This is super weird. No? No, it doesn't even show the actual ball. That, that's quite odd. Yeah, um, is that Angels or Alex? Huh? I have 11 minutes. Yeah, we, we can, so you can show the final Okay, so <coughs> I can show the step by step that I did. Like with my earlier. Yeah. It's a shame I want to do it. Well, like, this is what I got in 30 minutes. And then I did a little bit more to it, like one hour more. Yeah, just fit the screen maybe. And after that, I brought it to another program. So you can see the hair now a bit better. And after that, I was able to do a bit more with the materials and stuff, like put the eye there so it looks more realistic. And after that, I put the final image together, which is something like this. And I did this on Tuesday. I was a bit surprised that I got to do it like in one day. So. This was a learning experience for me as well. And this was the base thing in 30 minutes. I would have like painted like this really fast war paint and all, but. 
you read this. I think they got a really good idea anyway. Yeah. So it was a classic, it was super good. Yeah, it's really weird because I can't even show, see any like normal brush um, sphere in here. Well, I can append a new sphere. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. If someone knows, please. Well, it's not my laptop, so it's a new. Thank you.